free Intro to X Pages course. That's how we deliver all of our courses. So all of the databases to deliver our courses are installed in your local notes client when you are working uh, with them. You're working locally. When you're previewing, just as we've been demonstrating, Howard and I, uh, when you're previewing an X page, everything is through the local HTTP task. Um, so um, that's how we do it. Now there is a discussion support. So when you have a question, you post that in the discussion database. That is the online element. So that you will um, send up to our server, and then the instructor for that course replies within one business day. Okay, Paul, uh, we had a question from David on Crystal Reports. And I'm not that familiar with Crystal Reports, but there is, uh, you know, in X pages are very uh, modifiable, I guess is the right word. You can really design any sort of reporting structure you want. Uh, we showed the view control, which is designed for showing views, but you don't have to use that. There are data table controls. There's something called a repeat control that you can really format your data any way you want um, and pull that from a, a notes view or, for that matter, relational views or anything uh, using some of the new extensions. Uh, there also are some data viewing tools in Dojo that come standard you know, with Domino Designer. Uh, that we do cover in our XPages 2 course that you can use to use a Dojo data grid. A uh, question from Sachin. Um, the IBM community for XPages still in its initial stages. Um, what other communities do you recommend? Uh, certainly OpenNTF. OpenNTF really is the uh, incubator uh, for functionality that um, uh, is being staged and, and tried out prior to release in, in supported release in, in X pages. So uh, certainly that is the number one resource. And from there, there are other resources that are also available, learning resources and so on. Uh, Howard, do you want to comment on other communities? There's uh, also an X pages yeah. forum. Right. Yeah, clearly there's, uh, there's X pages .info. Um and there's also another thing if you want to follow forums of a lot of XPage people, uh, planetlotus.org is a good way to get kind of a, get a, uh, a summary of all the different various bloggers who are out there. And then uh, there is, as Paul mentioned, the XPages forum, which you'll find linked from XPages.info. And I think those, are, those would be most of them. Uh, question from Oscar. Um, we sh uh, this demonstration showed um, uh, Domino document data sources and Domino view data sources. What about um, other data sources like uh, SQL and DB2? How is that managed? Um, well, uh, you can certainly um, use uh, DEX and uh, LEI uh, to access um, relational data sources. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, about the um, JDBC support that, again, is being incubated, tried out in OpenNTF. Uh, that is slotted for full support. So uh, IBM has announced that um, we are going to see that supported as some sort of an extension uh, of your XPages functionality. I'm very excited about um, uh, that. Uh, Howard, do you know when that one is available? That has been announced. Well, there is a um, later this year a, an extension library supported by IBM, but that won't have the relational controls. Uh, and also the relational controls in OpenNTF will only work in 8.5.3. So you can start using those in October using the OpenNTF extensions. But then um, in terms of a, an official IBM support of that, it's, that's for a future release of the official IBM supported extension pack. OK, I've got a question from MR. Why aren't indentations not working in categorized views? Um, you just need to do an, an additional step. So you can get that indentation in categorized views, um, uh, but there are some uh, additional steps uh, to get that. It's one of the topics that we cover in our Developing X Pages course. Okay, and there's um, 
question by Treveni. If we design an X-Page form, can it use as the same native form or link the notes form to the X-Page form? Uh, there are some, there is a way in the form properties to specify an X-Page to open instead. So when users hit your form, uh, they will see the X-Page instead. Uh, so I think that is what you're asking. If not, you know, let me know. Uh, uh, question, question from Marcus Systems. Uh, when working with big applications, the performance decreases. Uh, is there an option to increase performance? There are many uh, techniques to improve the performance in your application. Um, one of the um, uh, main techniques is partial refresh, where you identify a control, maybe a container control, like a panel control or a table control, um, but you you specify that you know I only want to refresh uh, or refresh or re-render that portion of the X page. Uh, so that's uh, one of the techniques. Uh, and there are other techniques as well. Um, partial execution, where on the server side you only partially execute or specify um, a container control once again. And within that, you know, what code you want to partially execute. So there are techniques, um, some very valuable ones. The one that I would pay uh, the most attention to is that partial refresh. You've got um, uh, uh, performance gains both on the server because it's doing less work in terms of rendering less HTML to send to the browser. There's network gains. And then on the client side, uh, where the browser actually renders the result, um, you know, there's less to re-render. Okay, uh, we have a question from Chris about XPages. Uh, I mentioned earlier that XPages are converted to Java prior to execution, which is correct. Um, they actually get compiled into Java as you're saving them. Uh, does this mean that programming in Java is more efficient than programming in LotusScript when developing in XPages? Well, it's a couple things we to talk about. First of all, there is no LotusScript in XPages. Uh, However, I will um, mention uh, our co-host here, uh, GBS, has a product called Transformer. And that will take your Domino application, even the Lotus script, and convert it to X pages. Uh, so if you do have a lot of Lotus script, a lot of notes applications, and you want to move to X pages and want to save some time and money in that conversion, you should look at the GBS Transformer product. That is uh, appear to be, you know, a really revolutionary tool to get your applications modernized and move over to the browser world. Now, um, technically, uh, so there is no Lotus script in X Pages. You choices for programming language, languages are JavaScript or Java or something called the expression language. Uh, if you write in JavaScript. They do have to be converted on the fly to Java as you uh, as your X page is rendered. So Java does have some efficiencies, from what I've heard. The uh, the experts, uh, many of whom are at G work at GBS. Uh, so what they say is that Java is probably the most efficient. Uh, but um, you know, if you don't know Java. Uh, then I wouldn't worry about it. You know, I, I just get started. There is uh, someone I think uh, on a previous presentation over the summer had a chart, the, the life cycle of a X Pages programmer. And starting out, you know, you start out using JavaScript and and uh, the formula language and things that you know or can easily learn. And eventually, you get to, you know, so, you know, if you want to, you will get to where you're writing a lot of your code in Java and maybe putting that Java code in, in, in libraries that are, gets called in and using uh, things like you know Beans and, and stuff like that. And I'm sure a lot of you who follow the blogging world hear a lot about Java and XPages and Beans and Managed Beans, but don't be scared off by that. You know, there is a lot you can do with uh, XPages using JavaScript and, and and you really need to take this as a building block approach in terms of your warning. Question from Fernando. Um, in 8.5.3, can we have relational 
database data sources. Uh, we can have them in 852 right now, uh, and this is a topic that we cover um, you know, using a relational uh, data source and how to set that up through DEX or LEI. Uh, we cover that in our XPages Development 2 course. Uh, so that is supported now. What we're seeing um, and, and what um, IBM is, is referring to is, um, you know, we're going to see a more supported um, approach to uh, relational data sources uh, so where you can simply select them uh, just as you would select a domino view or a domino document. Uh, that support is pending. Howard, did you want to further comment on that? I know when 853 comes out, the, uh, the um, extension library for 853 has the relational controls and um, you can just go to OpenNTF and download that uh, once 853 comes out, unless you're a member of the design partner forum. In that case, you can download that now if you have 853. Um, let's take one more question uh, from Abhinav. A workflow application that has a lot of computation at the back end, typically agents, which XPages does not support. What do you suggest we do to develop this logic? Well, XPages is very event-driven, so it does have these places where you can do all this computation. Uh, you're just going to be doing it with JavaScript. Uh, I mentioned before that if you do have a lot of logic in agents, you can call agents from your X page, and those X pages can't even be Lotus Script agents. Or I should say those agents you call from your X page can be Lotus Script agents. So you can really reuse a lot of the logic you have now in Lotus Script by just changing your agents a little bit. And we do cover how to do this in our X pages 2 course. Uh, and basically you're going to call those agents from your X page. Or you can move over all that logic to the X pages. It does fully support a number of different events uh, like the Domino form does. So it, they are, all that capability is there. Okay, I think we're done with our Q&A. Uh, so I'd like to thank everyone for attending. Uh, Roop is going to make this presentation available uh, on a replay. Um, so they will send out a link to do that on how you can watch this again. And just to repeat, uh, everything you learned today, everything we covered is in the TLCC Introduction to XPages Development Course. So we are not sending out a presentation. Uh, you have more, you know, everything we covered and more in that course, as well as the ability to do all the activities. And I strongly urge you to get started, get your get your feet wet, and and try following through on those activities and uh, and start building your first X pages. You know, don't don't be uh, reluctant. Uh, just you know, go ahead and give it a go. I think you'll find it to be uh, a really interesting uh, programming model. Uh, that really gives you a lot more capabilities than we've had before in Domino Forms and Views and the other Domino design paradigms. So everyone have a great day and we thank you again for attending. Thanks for watching. To engage in conversations with us, visit twitter.com slash gbsnotes. To stay up to date, like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash joingbs. And to watch entertaining and informative videos, visit youtube.com slash gbsnotes. And don't forget, visit our website and send us an email at gbs.com and info at gbs.com. Thanks again. <laughs>